my best laid plans of trying to get up early train fell fell flat on our face this morning if that even makes sense um, because I was shattered and couldn't get out of bed I've now got to do another podcast with an ex-footballer Paul McVeigh um, and then I'm going to go and train and then I'm doing another podcast and I'm doing the Colin Murray radio show later I'm now going to set up laptop. I've just become like a techno- technological whiz now because everything's done at home. I was always a bit of a techno geek, but I've got more microphones, stands, and bits and pieces um, than ever. So Chloe's training the house down in the gym, and I'm doing this. Wish me luck. So the other day when we were chatting uh, in the gym, the garage, um, and Chloe was doing her like treadmill stuff, working like a machine, someone had offered us cookies which is always quite dangerous. You were warned as a child, if some stranger danger, someone offers you, you know, sweets, don't get into a van, don't, you know, go into a house made of gingerbread because a witch will push you into an oven or vice versa. But today, something fragile handled with care arrived. Da, 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 da. Michael's Cakes and Bakes has sent us six of the sickest looking cookies ever. Now, there's some good news and some bad news here, right? is a Michael's Cakes and, and Cakes and Bakes. Um, we weren't gonna do any social media coverage because, you know, obviously, we, we have now. And I wanna say, Chloe's on a diet break at the moment, so what I'm gonna do is she can have probably a segment that we can fit in the calories, but all the rest will be mine because I have higher calories and and my name's not the first on the thing, so it's simply James and Chloe. So there we are, there's the cookies that we got sent. Thank you, Michael's Cakes and Bakes. And our feature on Locked Up, um, you're not doing a lot for my locked up rig at the moment, but if we track and weigh, we should be okay. <laughs> okay, podcasting's done, and I've now got a train. Oh, look who it is. Is that the uh, hardest working woman in the whole world? All that's happened when I've been watching your YouTube <laughs> series, yeah. that I've just realised that how obscenely big my forehead You don't is. have a big forehead. You tell me I look like an egg. Yeah, but that's because you're egg shaped. Also, I've just trained, so I have sweaty hair. Well, relax, nobody's doing a fashion breakdown on you. So how are you? What's been happening? We haven't seen you much today. I've trained really, really hard, which is good. Um, we had a heavy weekend and we're now finally getting into the swing of midweek, which is good. And somebody sent us cookies. Yeah, but we haven't. I'm gonna have them after. Maybe for a cup of afternoon cup of tea, maybe. I can't have too much. I'm on a diet break. Thanks. Yeah, but you're tracking everything, and I'm tracking everything, so it's fine. Yeah, and I'm on a diet break, which means I get to have at least half a cookie, which well, I would I guess think... to me is probably gonna be about eighty calories. Potentially, always taking. Which is a lot, but I mean, look at them. They are beautiful. They uh, said the owner said to me that I think this one is the smallest one. He said, "Put it in the microwave." Uh, oh my god. Look, Helene, you what, um, anything else happening? Stressed, not happy? I'm writing about magnesium, mitochondria and ATP production. So life is thrilling for me right now. Oh my God. Well, on that note, I'm just probably just going to train. We'll uh, catch you all later. I'm not sure. Have I what? What are you sniffing? (laughs) What is that funny smell? I don't know, James. What is that funny smell? I don't know. I don't don't know the windows. It's not that. No, No, I think it's the food bin. I think you've done a fun one. No, I don't think I have.
smashed out a rank gym session you would have seen. Does anyone else get like a weird robot eye when they train? I always sweat into my eye and it always goes red. Sometimes I've got two red eyes. It looks like I've been crying during my workout. Sometimes I have cried during my workouts, but not at the moment. Um, I did Tabata today, so it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for a one bar workout, then a watt bike, then a one bar workout, then battle ropes, and then finish with a Versa climber. I've got my, what? my beard's either getting out of hand or I've got my wife's hair in it. I don't know, one of the two. Um, it'd be bad if you have someone else's wife's hair in it. We, she's in the background giving me actually no tune at the moment because she's cooking like the master that she is. Um, yeah, so the rest of the day on Colin Murray's sh radio show tonight. Chloe's doing work. I've got more work. I've got some music to edit. Just action, 24 hour action here. Post training meatballs and pasta. What an absolute hero my wife is. I'm actually very, very, very lucky. Backtracking my food, which keeps me fed well. Did a mega session, as I talked about. She's beavering away, you can hear her tapping, but you have to shh, be quiet, it's like a library. I'll leave you, I'll say bye now for now. This is our little setup for House of Rugby. We're just recording it now. Alex has gone, we're on with, we're on with Ben Young. This is what I'm doing most Tuesday evenings. And I haven't drunk all those bottles of wine. Just letting you know. Oh, the setup. <laughs> so this is where I'm spending most of my evenings at the moment. And what looks like, well, my friend Trusy takes a piss out of it, saying that it's, uh, I've nicked all the blinds in, in the whole of the, the UK to put into it, but it came to the house. Um, I'm doing a podcast this evening with, it's not a podcast, it's Colin Murray's show, and it's basically been the first virtual pub by the British Pub Association, christened it or designated at the first ever virtual pub, and I'm joining it. Um, they think I'm drinking, but I'm drinking non-alcoholic beer this evening um, because I want to train tomorrow and I didn't train yesterday because I had a blood test and I don't really want to drink midweek. Not really about that life. I just finished doing House of Rugby. I've changed my, my t-shirt. We had Ben Youngs on. Uh, he was absolutely fantastic. That'll be out later in the week. Um, but you're not going to want to watch me do the podcast. I'll probably catch check in with you once more. Uh, but today's been relatively quiet. A good training session as you will have seen. Uh, I've eaten pretty well. Uh, I'm back tracking all my food again. Um, so that's it. So I'll, I'll let you know how the podcast goes. It's on from 10 till 12. Um, and they'll talk about music, which I know nothing about, and, and some political issues, which I know nothing about. So all in all, it could be an absolute car crash, or it could be a load of fun, I don't know. So what the hell was going on there? Obviously, I couldn't play the audio because I was live on BBC Five Live, but uh, we had some amazing guests. Uh, we joined in with Colin Murray in a pub, all talking about mental health and our own stories. Um, and Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol, an absolute hero, played three songs, uh, which was amazing. I couldn't put the audio on, A, because I'd probably get done for copyright, and B, it would have reflected back live on Five Live and upset everyone. But if you like that video, then please subscribe, please share. We're loving making them for you. She's having such a good time. <laughs> Look at her face. You put that special face oil on. Yeah, fine. No, no, nobody needs you to get in. There's, there's more yeah, episodes. No, no, this is the end of it. And what? This is just subscribe and share, and we'll come back. You all get more time next I'd time. I'd like to talk to the ladies out there about my oh. face oil. No, no, nobody cares about your face oil. Do a separate video, and I'll drop it in. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>